what's going on everyone so i uh, just want to make a little video for y'all um if y'all want to ever buy a scan tool for a vehicle um this one right here is the way to go uh it's a launch scan tool it is our the c reader professional one two three i um <clears throat> this scan tool right here you can buy them for like 150 bucks on Amazon. Um, the exact same one as this is around 178. I'm cutting it on right now. I don't worry, I still got that cover on there. Probably will never take that off. See, the screen's all scratched up. And um, but yeah, this is a Android version scanner. Um, it connects to your Wi-Fi. It's touch screen. Um, here is the piece that connects to it. Uh, connect that right into the scan tool and connect that right into your OBD2 report or report. And yeah. Now this scanner um, like has updates all the freaking time. All right, um, currently my network is not available. I wonder if it's connected to the other Wi-Fi. Um, let's see. You can go on here, here's settings. You got screen capture, basically take a screenshot, display brightness, sound, network, time zone language, workshop information, recovery, clean it up. Um, now let's, let's check my network real quick. I'm going to put, all right. Yeah, so it's connected to my, uh, my Wi-Fi. So it's connected. Signal's all, not all that great. All right, so I'm just going to do a little review on this. Um, go to diagnose. Um, got all these different you know brands of vehicles and models whatnot um the cool thing about this is for a lot of the vehicles is when you do hook it up you uh most of the time it will connect automatically it will you know search your vehicle just like that and connect right to it and that's what the auto detect is um this is the OBD2. Um, of course, got to connect that. I am rating this. Got to connect that. It shows your battery voltage data. Um, you go like right here. Diagnostic report. Your DTC library. Your you can do firmware fix. Your images. Um, and the mall. Here's a pretty cool feature about this, um, <clears throat> especially a lot of the newer vehicles. Um, this reads transmission codes, check engine light codes, um, has all kinds of different other codes, ABS, brakes, um, anything in that nature, it will detect it. Um, it will let you know what's going on. You can also purchase the ABS bleeding here, you know, automatic brake system bleeding, your AC system relearn. Um, my 2016 Malibu has this adaptive front lighting, which is basically the high beams are automatic. You hit the button and they cut on automatically and um, it's a pretty cool feature. You can get that now i'm not saying you go to buy it and they'll put it on your vehicle it's got to be in your vehicle i'm guessing if you had any problems with it you buy that um these are a one-time year thing you pay the money for it for a year um i've seen a lot of people say it's a waste of money but hell fifty dollars for a year it's not that bad if you think about it you gotta add blue reset air fuel reset air level calibration battery matching brake reset crank position sensor adaptive learning 
DPF region EGR adaption electrono uh, le, uh, electro uh, I cannot talk electric th throttle relearn engine power balance monitoring Ferrari Fiat GM we got gas particulate filter uh, gearbox relearn high voltage battery diagnostics holding um, immobilizer reset injector coating intelligent cruise control system um, Maserati sunroof reset steering angle reset oil maintenance reset motor angle calibration tire pressure monitoring system reset database now the reason why I'm showing this because I've watched a lot of videos on these scanner tools and I, a lot of people didn't even go into them all and like show all these different things that they have. You got full function, um, select, you know, whatever vehicle, you know, if you, if you have a, a Ford or if you have a Dodge, a GM, Kia, or whatever, you go in there. Um, I'm just going to select GM. I'm not going to go through, like, this 100%. I don't want to make these videos, like, 30 minutes long. Um, got all these different things. And then you can just do vehicle coverage and basically see if it's going to cover your vehicle. So I'm going to go back. All right. And basically that's it. Like I said, you got updates all the time. $178. Amazon. Um, you also have the um, charging port right here. Plug into an oil outlet and charge it up. It also charges when you hook it up to your vehicle. Um, like I said, it's Android version. And yeah. Um, I am actually... Let me, I'm going to actually let me do so. I'm going to hook this up real quick. And show y'all how, you know, what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and connect this to my OBD port and um, show y'all exactly how this bad boy works. Now there's doing a VIN scan. It's automatically scanning the VIN to detect your vehicle. 2015 Chevy Malibu. Hit OK. <clears throat> cool thing about this also you can also go on the internet on this which is wild you can go on the internet oh i got a check engine light code um be making a video about that later on i think i already know what it is so just scroll down you got um this is a legit thing <laughs> so uh this is legit. Transmission control modules, good. Electronic brake control modules, good. The IRSDM is good. So check engine light. What's going on? Engine hood switch performance. There's the code. And I will get out of this because I'll be making another video on this because I know exactly what it is. It's very simple. The part is on the way yeah um but yeah this is a very cool thing going battery voltage it's running the battery voltage now there's a lot more you can do with this um you can also do freeze frames on this um you can go right into the depth of your vehicle um i should have let's see Let's just check one out real quick. Let's just go to like electronic brake control module. Um, vehicle stability system. It's equipped. Um, you got different identifier. Um, you can, of course, all these read the code. There's no code. If I 
but let's just check it out real quick. No trouble co code, system is normal. Let's hit the back button. You can read data stream, anti-lock breaking data. You can do all kinds of stuff. You just select on it, like anti-lock break system. Hit OK. I use OK. Um, you can, there, there's a lot you can do with this. Um, but like I said, I don't want to spend 30 minutes out of everybody's time just trying to go over something that they can, you know, figure out, you know. You got all these different ones, though. You got all these different. You got left rear wheel speed sensor, par panic, brake assist, uh, status, request, requested torque. You got all kinds of stuff. You just go in here. You can read it. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing, y'all. It really is. Um, upgrade. Let's see. It said one, but sometimes... It can either be more or none. See, it says right here, zero upgraded software. So everything's up to date. Got all these. I don't wanna, don't wanna do that. Let's go back. Um, you got the home button. You got this button. I'm used to touching the screen. That's probably why it's so dirty. Okay button, the back button. And up here, you got the power button. Um, it's charging right now. But yes, this is a great scan tool if anybody wants to invest in one. They're not that expensive. I would post the link to uh, where you can buy this down below. And um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, See y'all again next time. Power off.